today guys what i'm going to share with you is going to blow you guys away okay because when i discovered this guys it was able to help me 3x and 5x the profits i was making from my dropshipping store okay we have always been doing well with our dropshipping store in regard to sales we've always sold a lot but after i've paid everybody i'll be lucky if i was left with ten thousand or even less you know and this has been a big 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 issue and i've always asked myself what's happening here until i learned what i'm about to teach you today i moved from a net profit of ten thousand to having a net profit of a hundred thousand 200,000 and now we're looking at even getting to seven figures with our profit margins because of this simple strategy that I'm going to teach you today. This has been a huge game changer for me and I'm excited guys on what you guys can do with this, how it can change your lives and get your dropshipping stores to the next level and if you don't have a dropshipping store, you can start it properly so you can make money from day one. Okay, so let's dive in guys and let me show you how you can make a lot of money by just applying this simple strategy. The first thing you need to understand is there are three kinds of products you can sell. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about is the low ticket product. Okay, so the question you might, you might ask is what is a low ticket product? Okay, so now a low ticket product it's a low priced product. Okay, it's priced very cheaply and the margins are very small. For example, when you think of massive retailers, that's what they do. They sell a lot of products, but the margins are very small because they sell them extremely cheap. But they know they can push high volumes. With high volumes, that's how they say we'll make a lot of money. Okay, you think about it. If you make 10 cents and you sell 10 products, it's like one rand. It's not exciting, right? But if you make 10 cents, but you sell a million products, that's like 100,000 right there. Okay, what happens if you sell 10 million products? Now you're making a million rands. Okay, just from 10 cents. Okay, so now it's all about volume. You need to sell a lot at a, at a, at a lower price. And that's that's how initially I looked at my dropshipping store. We used to focus on low ticket products because they sell easy. And I used to think we make, we make the money back in volumes. Okay, but the first thing that I did not plan for was that the product for it to work well, it needs to have very little to no after sales support. I had products that we sold volumes. But people would come back and say, I don't know how to use this thing. This thing doesn't work. And then I don't have uh, the capacity and the the labor force to help me to handle all those support issues. And the whole thing will just break apart. And people will be upset with me and all hell will break loose. Right. So the other thing you need to understand about low ticket product is that they are labor, labor intensive. Okay. Admin, admin, ad, the admin work is a nightmare. The support is a nightmare. Okay. Because you have so many people to take care of. Right, you have to build systems and structures in place to handle a lot of those moving parts. Okay, that's the other thing. Then the other thing that's that does not work with low ticket is capital intensive. That means you make a lot of money and you spend a lot of money. Okay, and sometimes you have to spend a lot of money to make a lot of money because you you're selling low 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 priced items, right? And and the last thing, guys, is um, yeah. So this this is the low ticket item. So now low ticket, it works. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it works if you have a lot of money and you're looking for a way to, to invest your money. And you know, that's why retail retail is almost an investment play. It's not a capital gain play. You don't you don't want to make a lot of money. You don't want to make a lot of money too quickly doing it. You want to put a lot of money up and then see that money come back slowly. Okay. Now if you start a dropshipping store, in most people. Or even I, I started a dropshipping store because I wanted to make money. I didn't want to. Sp I did not have money to spend. Right. So this low ticket business model did not work so well because I need it. It needs capital. Even though you sell a lot, you make very little money out of it. It's labor intensive. You have to hire a lot of people. Your your time is taken up into management costs and everything else that comes with it. Right. So this did not work for me at all. This are uh, low ticket selling on, 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 on having a drop shipping store okay i got into all kinds of problems doing this and then that's when i started to think what what can i do here you know where, where can i move my business right and that's when we moved into medium ticket okay 
So with medium ticket, you can see that uh, the items on medium ticket, they are, they are not priced that low. The price is not too high, the price is not too low. It's somewhere in the middle, okay? It's a medium priced product. And also the volume, okay? You don't sell a lot, so you don't need, it's not labor intensive. You don't need a lot of people you know, uh, doing 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 the selling and the fulfilling and all that and all that and all that. Okay, because it's 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 medium priced, right? This is what I like the most is the profit margins, right? So when it comes to profit margins, you make twice the amount of profits than you would with a low ticket product, and sometimes you can go three times the amount of profits than you do with the with the that you would do with a low ticket. But the exciting thing is you selling less. It's not the same amount of volume. That means you cut your selling price in half, but you double your profits. Crazy, right? But now the disadvantage, because you know there's nothing that has only advantages. There's always a disadvantage. The disadvantage of selling a medium ticket product is that you need good marketing and good sales, and also your ad spend gets it. It, it becomes super expensive. Okay, that's the downside of selling medium ticket. That's why most people do not really like to play in this pool for these reasons here because once you're selling a medium ticket product you need to have very good marketing you need to have very good sales and most people don't like that they'd rather and un underprice their products they don't they don't have to do complicated selling they don't have to build complicated marketing campaigns they don't have to spend a lot of money on advertising and then they say i'm happy as long as i see i, I, I see movement people are buying and buying and buying and buying but they're not making money essentially they are bleeding to death okay so that's why people don't like to opt for a medium ticket product because of these reasons. But you need to understand this is your biggest motivator here, your profit margins. And also, I think the fact that you work, you don't work as hard. Okay, Because when you're starting a job shipping store, you want to make money. Okay, You want to make a lot of money. Okay, You don't want to work too hard for too little money. That's what you do at your job. Okay, that's why if you, those are your goals, you need to seriously consider selling medium, medium ticket products. Okay, and the last uh, product you need to sell, guys, is your high ticket. Okay, high ticket and medium ticket, very little difference. Okay, there's not that much difference between high ticket and little ticket. The same challenges you have with the medium ticket product, the same challenges you have with the high ticket product. The only motivator behind a high ticket product is what? It's your profit. You can 5x, you can 10x your products. Okay. That's the only difference. That's why, guys, you need to focus on selling high ticket products because you're going to sell less, you're going to make more money. Okay. The only disadvantage is you have to become very good with marketing, you have to become very good with sales, but I think it's worth it. And also, you need to be willing to spend a lot of money on ads, right? But I think it's totally worth it given what you're getting out of it. Okay, you're making much more money working far less. They say that more so the profit margin per high-end watch is typically quite high, from about 40 to 50% on average. Such high margins are designed to accommodate a range of costs and efforts traditionally required to sell a high-end by a retailer. Okay, so now when you look at luxury watches like Rolex, okay, because you see that Rolex makes 25% on a watch. 25% margins and the people who are reselling it they make 45% to they make between 50 to 40 to 50% margin profit margin on the watch just for selling it just for selling the Rolex this is a high end high end product okay so now you can see that people selling luxury watches they are making a lot of money okay a lot of money even though they don't sell as many watches and I remember um, one guy was saying last time that actually this uh, this not enough luxury uh, what well, there's not enough um, Rolex watches running around you know actually what some guys do they buy them from from the dealers and then they sell them on eBay at three times five times the price and they move like like pancakes because people this is the symbol of I've made it when you have a Rolex watch okay but look at how much money you make as a reseller this is one of the the products that will make you a lot of money okay why is that because it's a high-end product okay but when you compare that to other watches other cheaper watches they cannot even make 10% profit margin 
but you're making 50, not just 50%, 50 from what? 50 from a 100,000, a 200,000 watch, right? So now, if you sell luxury watches, you're going to drive a Lamborghini, okay? If you sell the cheap watches, you're not even going to have enough money to pay rent. Now, look at the contrast, guys, between selling low ticket and high ticket. The guy selling low ticket cannot even pay rent. The guy selling high ticket drives a Lamborghini, okay? So now, that is why, guys, when you start your dropshipping store, it's important that you focus on selling high ticket because you are in it for the money. You want to make a lot of money. And this is the way to do it, okay? And most people will not do it because of the, of the reasons I told you. They're not willing to spend money on ads. They're not willing to spend time and effort in understanding how to market their products better, how to do better sales. They're not willing to do that. But if you are willing to put in the time to market, to become a better marketer, if you're willing to put in the time to become better at sales, you can make a lot of money. Okay. A lot, a lot of money. We have seen it in our business, how we have we are we have doubled and tripled our profits just by moving up the the chain of moving toward uh, towards selling high ticket products. Okay. So I want to show you a simple case study of a drop shipping product that everybody loves, everybody's looking for. But um, the people who are selling it, that's, it's it's the the, the 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 crazy thing about selling uh, the, about selling high ticket is you don't you don't always need a new product. You can sell the same product but position it differently. That's where good marketing comes in. Position it differently, and I want to show you how that works. How you take a product that is already selling well and reposition it, and by just repositioning it, you get to sell it at five times. Or sometimes three times or two times the, the, the normal price okay so I want to show you this product here um, this stroller here okay the Bellico luxury stroller it's a luxury stroller this people here selling it for three thousand okay so now I know that their biggest traffic source where they get their their customers from is from Google shop so if I, if I go in a baby stroller you can see I can see all kinds of strollers but the Bellico stroller is the one that takes the prime space because it's a very good stroller. It's a very good luxury stroller. And you see these guys, you see they are selling it for 3000 Okay. But you can see that their competition here is selling it for 2000 Okay. And this one is selling for 2.5. Same stroller. You can see it's just a different color. Okay. And then uh, 2.5. This one has a, has, has a thing, has a car seat with it. It goes for 3.8. This one 3.8 also okay this one same one 3.7 okay so now this one this one is the same one 2.7 you can see that uh this sort of you know fighting on price so we will use this price as a part of our case study so now let's see now this stroller here costs buy for three thousand okay so now let's say you you buy it from your supplier for two four fifty that's how much you buy it for from your supplier. And that means now your profit will be 349 rands on every stroller you sell. You have to pay 200 bucks. That becomes your ad spend, right? That 200 bucks. All right. So now, how many strollers do you need to sell if you want to make 10,000 rands? How many strollers do you need to sell? That means you need to sell 28 strollers. That's a lot of strollers just to get to 10,000 profit, not even net profit, gross profit per month. You need to sell. So this essentially becomes a low ticket item, okay? So now, like I showed you guys, the way Google Shop works is you have to use keywords. You have to plug in, you have to go into Google and start typing in keywords. Now, people that do that already, they are at the point of purchase, they have, they have made a decision that I need to buy a straw like right now, right? But the the challenge with that is what? When you go to Google Shop, it's competition. Like I showed you, it's competition. It's fierce competition. The same stroller, everybody's selling it. And who's going to win? Who's going to win? The one with the lowest price. Now you're sitting with what? A low ticket product. Because now you have to sell against the other guy. You have the same product. They have the same product. And then what happens? The customer will essentially go for the cheapest one, right? So now you're not going to make a lot of money. It's 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 low margins. So that means now you have to sell high volumes, and you need capital to to sort of get 
uh, get people to help you fulfill all those orders and it just becomes a big nightmare right so now the question is what happens if you move to high ticket how many strollers do you need to sell to make the same ten thousand okay so now how many strollers do you need to sell to make the same ten thousand so now if you take nine so i'm gonna sell it for nine thousand okay for ten thousand each because now she's essentially selling it or they are essentially selling it for three thousand i'm gonna sell it for, for ten thousand Okay, that's almost like what three three four times the selling price then i buy it for another amount two four fifty that means that's my profit here seven four fifty then how many do i need to sell to get to the same ten thousand she have to they have to sell 28 okay i only have to sell two to get to the same price now let's assume the worst and say my ad spend it's going to go crazy that means they spend 20 bucks to get a customer then i say okay me i'm going to spend seven thousand five hundred it's half half of my gross profit just to get this in to, to get only two clients but think but look and look how crazy is it even at seven five i still remain with seven five as profit i still have to how many do they i, I can only sell two more which is four to get to 15 to the same fifteen thousand profit right i only have to sell for i only have to sell for strollers and i'm willing to spend a lot of money on ads to sell the only four strollers and i will make much more than ten thousand a month only selling four and i'll even get them to do all the work they can fulfill the product they can do the customer support or i can hire someone and pay them well to do all those things for me and still make good money because i'm selling it at high ticket okay now guys that's the power of selling a high ticket product okay it's that you can make a lot of money with very little effort okay now the question you may ask is why would someone buy a stroller from me and not buy it from them and just go into google and start googling what they're looking for and that's a good question so now the place we need to advertise on is we need to go to facebook ads okay now facebook ads not just facebook ads but also we need to do video ads okay when we run a facebook ad a, a facebook video ad campaign where someone gets to see the stroller and they get to experience all the features that it comes with because when we look here at this at the ad here okay they don't they're not seeing anything about the product okay they're just selling, telling you what material is made out of these things are irrelevant people don't buy strollers for those reasons but when you build a great ad you need to sort of tell them why it has big wheels at the back because of better balance you know just tell them show them make a video where they can see how it grips better how it better protects your baby and it's it's, it's more steady it has shocks in the front you can see these two shocks here that allows it to be sturdy and to keep your baby safe okay you can adjust this uh, this this thing in, in in a lot of ways okay you can make the baby sit up to see what's happening outside you know you can make the baby sleep right and also it has different compartments where you can open and check your baby no matter how you position it if your baby's still safe if your baby's still fine and also it has plenty of space at the bottom where you can store things and also it comes with accessories it comes with the bag it comes with the net to protect your baby but they don't see none of those things the, this thing has has a much better braking mechanism than the other strollers okay it has so many luxury features it's a lump it's the lamborghini of strollers but these guys don't don't try to sell it and to help people understand why is this thing such an amazing prayer okay the only people that will know it is if their friends show it to them like my friend i bought this prem this is why this prem is amazing but now if you start running facebook ads you start educating people you start taking better pictures you don't use the same because you can see here that everybody's using the same picture because they're just trying to sell volume this is just volume selling it's they just take pictures of the internet and just plug and paste them right you can create better ads you need to the first thing about writing better ads is you need to show the product in use when people are using it that's how you should take the picture of the ad don't take the the picture of the ad by its of the of the product by itself you need to take the picture of the ad doing something so now that means you're going to have unique pictures that only you have that means now your product becomes perceived in a different light as a result people are willing to pay more for your product 
and because they're willing to pay more you make much much more money okay so now guys in the next videos i will i will show you how easy is it to build this kind of video ad campaign it's what's even more crazy you don't even have to record anything yourself there's places where you can go where these videos are already done for you you just plug it take them and just plug it into your facebook ad campaign that's it done for you already okay so now i hope guys this was super helpful um and now you understand why if you want to make a lot of money a lot of money with drop shipping you need to sell high ticket products that means super expensive products and the next question you might have is people may not be comfortable buying from my store and spending 10 grand here's the here's the thing guys COVID changed all that south africans are much more comfortable than ever buying things online okay <clears throat> and we spoke about better marketing we spoke about better sales you remember so now i will teach you some strategies on how to sell better and close more of those deals because with the high ticket item you need to, to be good at sales okay you need to be good at marketing that's that's a must okay <clears throat> but i'm telling you that i'm a surprised about the amount of people that come onto our websites and they pay without even asking a simple a single question just come in and pay and they're out done and i'm saying wow and they will spend 10 grand just like that because they have seen it they are convinced that it's it's going to help them and they are happy to spend the money okay so this has been a great game changer for us and i think it will be a great game changer for you if you're looking for a way to make extra income looking for a way to make money this is what i would say would really really help okay so guys if you need help with starting a drop shipping store okay all you have to do guys is just drop me a whatsapp and then and then let's let's have a chat and let us see how we can help you make a lot of money with drop shipping so thank you guys for your time and i'll see you guys hopefully in the next video